we're going to go ahead and we're going to do something a little outside the box. And we are going to set up a cover page. So for your different opportunities, you want to be able to export out a cover page and it looks consistent and maybe you just want to maybe you want to have all the same graphics for every cover page then and you just want to change out some of the the information about the actual project you're going after or maybe you always want to use a, a different image on it and then this is where you'll tell it to go ahead and grab that image. So again to do this, you'll click on the add drop down, import Adobe InDesign template, you'll need to name it. You'll browse, you'll find it, you'll pull it in. Or if you don't already have one, create Adobe InDesign template, design your, your cover page there, put all your information in. It's all the same process. So we have already uploaded one. We're going to hit the Update button. That will open up the, the template in Vision or in InDesign. So here's ours. So we just have a simple graphic at the top, and then we have the name, the location, and then the project uh, contact. So let's go ahead. We want this graphic to change every time. We'll go ahead, and when we set up new opportunities in Vision, we'll just go ahead and throw some some images on that, that proposal that we think has have a strong chance of making impact on the client. So we're going to have this update every time. Again, use your text frame slash picture frame. Click the text button or T for a shortcut. And that's going to be under proposal graphic again. Use the one for the top. I'll explain that again. As you go from top to the bottom, you always want to go from lowest to highest. I'll show you where those are numbered in just a minute. Insert your code. Okay, so we've got the proposal graphic. Let's go ahead and let's update our, this is the proposal we're actually going after. Um, long name. Um, there's that long name or project long name? Uh, actually, opportunity name. Oh, yeah. Opportunity name, insert that in, and then we like to just update our city and state. Comma, space in the succeeding text. State province name. Insert that in. You can't see it because, again, this red means there's overflow. So be, be cognizant of this when you're setting up. You want to make sure your box is long enough to display whatever information you are going to have exported out. But with these codes here, they don't all have to be displayed. The only thing that with these red ones, like I mentioned earlier, see this, this, this would give you an error message here because the proposal merge code isn't all being mentioned. That's the only time to worry about red box shown. So brings the text to worry about when we're using a graphic. So don't worry too much about editing it here in the merge template. And this is just going to be our primary contact and their title. Let's go primary contact. First name, insert. Here we can just do proceeding, do a space, you can do contact last name, insert. And then let's do their title. So we're gonna do a comma space preceding text, primary contact title, insert. Very simple cover page. You can go ahead and you can set up dates in here, really anything in Vision you can put on here. As complex as you want to get with this, you can. We have a very simple one set up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into Vision and see where you actually tell Vision to grab these templates and export out the information. So save and close.